In other words, the path of least resistance is just to be in love with who you are and be in love with everything the way your inner being is in love with everything. And then you lose your sensitivity to what others think because there is a higher priority to you. And that's your tuning to the whole of who you are. You're tuning to the core of who you are. You're tuning to the ever expanding being that you are because others, some of them are going to resonate with you and some of them aren't. We want you to know there's never a crowd on the leading edge, but when you get tuned in, tapped in, turned on, there's a high probability that those who are around who all want some of that will begin to find that resonance, especially if you are experiencing the awesome power of non-resistant thought. That's the epitome. That's the perfect definition of attractive, isn't it? To be so tuned in that you're in your full power and clarity. And then those who are up to speed with you to some degree, they'll come right along with you. And those who aren't ready for you won't come. But what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about that? You're going to lower your vibration to resonate with them. You're going to give up your connection to your source energy so that you can worry about that. You see, doesn't that help you not worry about what others are doing? We want to convince you that you really have to stop playing to the peanut gallery. No offense meant, but resonate with your inner being and then watch what happens. Helpful? Yes. Want to talk about it? I just didn't know that it was about what other people were thinking about me. I mean, I've always known that I was aware of um, other people's um, uh, energy. What did you think it was about? I just thought it was something that happened to me or something that I just... You have an emotional response yes, with no awareness of what thought it's about? It just seems to come over me so fast. I didn't realize that it was something that I was... So now that leads us to another really important thing to talk about here today. And that is we've been talking recently. We'll talk a lot about this today about getting out ahead of it. Earlier, you heard us say that you have patterns of thought. That's what beliefs are. So sometimes you have a belief that is serving you. Sometimes you have a belief that isn't serving you and those beliefs that aren't serving you. That's why things sneak up on you because you didn't even realize you were feeling that way or thinking that way, but you were. And so you attracted something that matched that. So we've been talking about getting out ahead of it. In other words, segment intending deliberately identifying and isolating and calibrating an emotion right now. So let's say that it's the day before you're going to make a presentation and you're thinking about it today. And today you are acknowledging what a beautiful day it is. And you're acknowledging how good you feel in the world and how good you feel in your body and how happy you are in life and how nice it is to be an uplifter and a teacher and how eager you are about these things. And because this presentation is tomorrow, it's easier for you today to identify those things and sort of prime the pump and get the energy moving about them. You might even go so far as to acknowledge how happy you are to have this role that you get to play tomorrow and how eager you are to see how it plays out and how much fun that it could be, how much fun that it will be. And so just by having those thoughts here today with little or lesser resistant competition about them, you have gotten out ahead of it. You follow that? So tomorrow we promise you will go better for you than it would have had you not done that. That's what we call getting out ahead of it. Meditation accomplishes that too, because when you quiet your mind, you stop thought. And when you stop thought, your vibration rises. So that helps a lot too. We'll talk more about that if you wish later today. So now this idea of getting out ahead of it, we want to point out Esther catches herself doing this almost every day about something, getting out ahead of it in the opposite way that she means to. Like just now we would say that's co-creation at its best. Those thoughts that we were encouraging about what's going to take place tomorrow, but acknowledging how good you feel today. That's co-creating at its best, you and the universe and your inner being. But sometimes if you have a worrisome thought, like it just comes over me so fast, that's co-creation at its worst. 
I don't know what happens. I just remember that I get prepared and I think I'm ready and then I'm not. Don't do that because that's the opposite of what we're talking about. But it is getting you ready for something. It is preparing you for the next segment, but it's preparing you for a segment that you're not going to enjoy that much when you get there, you see. So when you start getting a handle on this and you start getting out ahead of it deliberately when it's easier, and then you start noticing how much better things go for you because you're out ahead. Esther has a notebook. A stack of notebooks now and she decided to take this a little bit to an extreme and so she is segment intending almost every segment of her life experience these days by sitting and writing for about 60 seconds about the next segment that she's moving into back in the very early days Jerry asked Abraham are there any like laws of the universe or anything that if we could really get a handle on it would help us to understand how all of this works and we said there's the law of attraction and then we defined it that which is likened to itself is drawn you're a vibrational being and as you emanate a signal you will attract like to you the second law we called the law of deliberate creation that's where you think on purpose you can do it by default that's what most people do they look over there and they think about that and they look over there and they think about that but very few people are guiding their thoughts according to their guidance systems because very few people are trying to harmonize with the larger part of them they don't even know that larger part exists sometimes and they certainly didn't realize that that larger part of them is thinking right here right now about what they're thinking about the law of deliberate creation paying attention to your emotions and thinking in the direction of what you want as your inner being does the third is the law of allowing that means I have isolated and identified and calibrated my frequency to the frequency of my source so I have the clarity and the knowledge of all of that inside oh, it is so powerful and then the fourth we said was segment intending you're moving into a new segment all the time when the phone rings new segment when you hang up the phone new segment when you're at the dinner table and all of you are there except that one who's always late and then that one gets there new segment constant new segments new segments new segments and if you will stop and identify what you most want from this segment you activate within yourself you cause yourself to be one of the cooperative components that is already gathered in other words your inner being has already gathered cooperative components often you're the only holdout but when you segment intend often it causes you to be a cooperative component so segment intending Esther will write segment brush my teeth put on my face and comb my hair that's her segment takes 30 minutes segment and then she will write this may sound silly to you but she will write I feel such appreciation for this lovely space in which I can prepare myself for the day I love this music that is playing right here and now I love these products took me a while to find them I really really like them <laughs> I like the way this smells I like the way this smells I like the way this smells in other words just looking for things to feel good about and setting her vibrational frequency for well-being for attraction and then the next segment make my bed and move the stuff back where it belongs 30 minutes I love my beautiful bed I feel such appreciation for this beautiful bedding just focusing with deliberate intent for the purpose of activating genuine not fake genuine appreciation for something that she's focused upon it gets that momentum going can you see what we're getting at you spend a day identifying what you like about this and what you like about this and what you like about him and what you like about her and what you like about this what you like about that pretty soon you've got a point of attraction going where the entire world seems like they got your memo <laughs> see me when you see me do this it's like they got the memo and those that are not a vibrational match to this pure positive energy stream that you've got going they bounce off of you it's like they're not even in the same world that you're in while those that have components that match up with some of the things that you've got actively flowing through you come into your experience it's so powerful so you feel more eager about what you're doing yes you're really good at it thank you and so if you noticed how once you get rolling it always goes easier absolutely have you noticed how 
you've been making up stuff that isn't even true yes <laughs> thank you really good